Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red, episode 28, I believe, in the last episode. It was pretty short, but we got here to Cinnabar Island and received two new fossil Pokemon. We took the fossils and uh, and, and, and Jurassic Park to them, and now we have Aerodactyl and Ammonite, uh, which we're not using on our teams, but I highly recommend them if you have a slot on your team for them. In this episode, we are going to tackle the Pokemon Mansion that is here on Cinnabar Island and hopefully grab the key so that we can go to the Pokemon Gym and I'm hoping to do this in one episode. We will see though. The Pokemon Mansion takes a little bit of, a little bit of time, but the, the gym we're going to fly through because Poseidon is going to absolutely wreck that place. Now, let's go ahead into Pokemon Mansion. There are going to be items galore in this area, but more importantly, there are four, technically, four new Pokemon that you can get in this area. So let's take a look at the first one. Coughing, number 109 in the Pokedex, is a pure poison type. Now, we've seen coughing so many times throughout this game. Team Rocket tends to really enjoy having a coughing or a wheezing on their team, and it just so happens that this is the first place that we can actually get it. Now, if you look at the final evolution stats on coughing, we can go ahead and look at wheezing, who is capturable, but only in the Fire Red version, and it's a 5% chance of showing up, whereas coughing can be in both the uh, Fire Red version and the Leaf Green version of the game, a 30% chance in Fire Red, and a 5% chance in Leaf Green, whereas Weezing is only available in Fire Red. This Pokemon is actually amazing. Amazing. It is only weak to Psychic. That is the only thing it is weak against. It resists fighting type moves, which is wonderful, and it resists bug type moves, although there's not that many in this game, so not a huge deal. Also, its ability Levitate makes it so that it does it is not weak to what most poison types are weak to, which is ground. If you don't have a physical wall on your team, I highly recommend picking up a Weezing right now. And the other Pokemon that you can find in this area is Grimer. Now, Grimer is interesting because, one, you can catch Grimer uh, in both Fire Red and Leaf Green. It's just the opposite of coughing. And its evolved form, which is Muck. Muck is also only available in Leaf Green at 5% encounter rate. This is a poison type that I personally think the stats are better for. The issue is, is that it's still super weak to ground, just like um, most poison types. It doesn't have that levitate ability. And in fact, its abilities are pretty bad. Stench, when Muck is the first slot of your party, it will actually uh, decrease the wild encounters you get into. But honestly, if you don't want wild encounters, you're probably just using a repel. Its other ability, which is sticky hold, Muck's item cannot be stolen, not very good. Uh, I can't really recommend Muck based on those abilities. I think if you're going to get a poison type right now, you should be getting a coughing or a wheezing and not a Grimer or a Muck. It's also pretty late in the game, but you get them at pretty high levels. So, let's continue on with the actual actual level. Let's 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 see what there is. So I'm going to be using my item finder quite a lot while I'm in here. And the first Pokémon that we're going to run into is a Raticate. You can also find Raticate and Rattata uh and Vulpix and Growlithe in this in this Pokémon dungeon as well. You used to be able to find Ponyta back in the day. You can't do that anymore. Um but I'm going to use a Repel just because there aren't really Pokémon that I care about finding right now and I would rather be able to get through this dungeon as quickly as we can. All right. So there is an item right over here. Which I believe, is it in this one? Huh. There we go. So we can get a Moonstone right here in case you still need to evolve your Clefairy, Cory. Uh, and there isn't any items over here. So the whole thing about this place is it's kind of a maze. Right here we can pick up a an escape rope, which is going to be useful to get us out of here, even though we have plenty. There are little statues that have switches all over the place in this in this Pokemon Mansion. There's also some story things that we can find out here. Now, uh, apparently Repel didn't wear out. This Raticate is just... Um, oh, apparently Repel did wear out. That's strange. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice that Repel wore out, wore off. So I'm gonna use Repel again just to go ahead. And this is blocked, so we can't actually proceed any further. We need to actually open those with the switches that are in the statues. So, this place isn't that hard of a maze. It's barely even a maze, I would say. Uh, so, right here, we can go ahead and fight this trainer. Who's going to be- Ah, oh, you startled me. I thought you were a ghost. <coughs> There's no ghost types in this in this entire place. Youngster Johnson would like to battle. He's going to send out an Ekans, pure poison type Pokemon. We're going to send out Poseidon. Uh, the only reason I'm using Poseidon is because we will be facing a lot of um, 
Pokemon that one have Intimidate, and two have uh, uh, Fire, Fire type Pokemon. So we're going to be able to take out this Ekans with a nice big old Surf to the face. Um, probably could have used Ice Beam, could have used Bite, could have used anything to take down that Ekans. Um, so we're just going to go through and try to plow through this. There's not that many trainers actually in the Pokemon Mansion, believe it or not. So our our attack is already lower to two two whole stages. So um, don't use the physical Pokemon in this trainer fight. All right, and we're barely getting any experience. I'm actually going to be, and he's got a normal type. Okay, great. And he's going to send out Eradicate. Like, uh, just when you think you're fighting some interesting Pokemon, you get Ekans and Eradicates thrown at you. It's like, oh wow, we fought that trainer earlier that had a War Turtle. That was pretty cool. And a Tentacruel. That guy that had like seven Magikarps. And we get a thousand Poké Dollars for winning though because of the Amulet Coin, so that's not bad. Now I'm actually going to take the experience share. Because, uh, you know, there's no reason in him having it. Alright, so we are going to, oop, we're going to go ahead and use this secret switch. That will turn the lights on. That statue looks like a Pokémon that we've never seen before. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. It's freaking, it's freaking Mewtwo, guys. All right, so right here we can grab a protein. That's all that statue did, by the way, is it just opened up so that we could get that protein, which is fine, not a big deal. All right, so now we are going to actually use the stairs, the stairs, and the statues are on, so we're gonna go through. This guy is going to be a trainer that we can fight. I can't get out. This old place is one big puzzle. It is not, it's barely a puzzle. All right, so we are going to fight Burglar Arnie. He's going to send out a Charmander. Well, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. I hate to kill you, little Char. Char, 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 Char. Remember the days, guys, when we had a Charmander? I can't believe he has a level 34 Charmander and a Charmeleon. 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 Level 34. We're going to go ahead and use Surf and take him down. No problem. Oh, God. Poor Charmeleon. We should have sent out Bahamut to fight them, just because I think it would have been fun to see Charizard rip apart his his lower evolutions. We got almost six thousand Poké Dollars for winning that fight because of the Amulet Coin, uh, which is something that I haven't actually been I haven't been using Vaporeon in, in battles, uh, and I should be. All right, so we are going to use we are going to use bigger repels uh, so that we don't have to use it as many times. Now, I am off-screen going to be getting myself a Coughing and a Grimer, just because I can. Um, and right here is a book that we can use. Diary, July 5th, Guyana, South America. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. A new Pokemon, huh? Interesting. Right here, we can get a Pokeball, which, or Pokeball, which is going to have a Calcium, an item which is a Calcium. Uh, there's no items that we can find here. Okay. And, uh, we can't get down here just yet. We actually have to take a different method to get down to where that is. If I'm not entirely mistaken. Right down here, we can come over here and grab this, which is a zinc. I love how many vitamins we've been finding lately. Silphco was the same thing. We found a ton there. I think we can read this book. Diary July 10th. We christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Interesting. So we're going to go ahead and use the Super Repel. We already fought that trainer. Now, we could uh, press this switch. And I believe that will open the way. Am I wrong? I think I'm wrong. Okay, so we actually are going to open that again. Oh, it opened It opened the way so that we can go up here. That's right. So now we can go up these, this staircase. Use that. Nothing's showing up. Nothing's showing up. Okay. And right here we will get an iron, which is not a big, huge deal. And I don't think there's... It's so weird that there's no items. None of these things are going to, like, tell us anything. There's no, like, story in those. Alright, so we need to... Oh, we need to use a repel. We have 79 Pokemon, by the way. It's pretty damn good. Over halfway there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use this. Who won it? Exactly, dude. Exactly. Which actually locks your way out of out of that room. So make sure you get that first. And we can go ahead and fight this trainer. My mentor once lived here. Who's your mentor? 
All right, Brayden's going to send out a Magnemite. We are going to be able to hopefully take it down with an Ice Beam. Uh, not that it's super effective or anything, but might just be able to kill it. Nope. Okay. It's going to use Lock On, which is not a huge deal. I didn't realize that Poseidon had so much health. Poseidon actually has more health than Clefairy, which is kind of crazy. Clefable. Clefable. Clefable now. Barely getting any. Uh, we're actually going to switch to somebody else. We're going to switch to Bruce. Uh, I love how Bruce is actually already a higher level than our dear old, our dear old Clefable. So obviously fighting is super effective against, um, against Steel, so we're just going to use Rolling Kick, which will kill it in one hit. Uh, I believe his next Pokemon is actually going to be another Magnemite. Oh, Voltorb. Okay, cool. We're just going to stay in. No big deal. And we'll be able to destroy him with a Rolling Kick. Hopefully. Yeah, that will be able to kill him. His attack is just so high that it doesn't doesn't totally matter. And he will hit level 40. Wow, way to go, Bruce. Way to go, Bruce. Scientist Brayden is defeated. We will get over 3,000 Poké Dollars for winning that fight, which is beautiful. Now, there is also a item over here that we can try to find, which... Oh, that's weird. Okay. There it is. It is a rare candy, which puts our total at 10. Our grand total of rare candies is now at 10. Now we can use this staircase, which will lead down here. And up here, and then we can grab a HP up. Beautiful. And now there's like a, a slight little puzzle thing that happens. Although I want to do something different first, which is to go this way. We're going to use this staircase. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. So we have to use this first. Oops. We need to press this switch, then go this way, then go down, and we're gonna use this other staircase from before. Oh my god, these, these repels though, they wear off so quick. So we'll go up here, and we'll be able to get another book that we can read about. Diary, February 6th. So it's been, it's been a little while. Mew gave birth. We named the newborn Mewtwo. It did not really give birth in the actual story, right? It didn't, it didn't, like, it was cloned, is what happened, as we all know from the first movie. That is literally all you can get here, but it's worth just mentioning that cool story, and then we can fight. This place is, like, huge, man. And we will go ahead and fight this burglar. Burglar Simon sent out a Ninetales. Uh, what a pretty Pokemon, right? We'll go ahead and destroy it in one surf. If I'm not, wow, it went first. And it did six damage. Okay. All right. I was going to say, I'd be super surprised if that Surf didn't kill that Ninetales. Burglar Simon is defeated. We got over 6,000 Poké Dollars. Almost 7,000 Poké Dollars for that fight. Which is surreal. Lots of money. Lots of money coming out here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and flip this switch. Wait, 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 wait. Did I screw up? Yep, I screwed up. Okay. I screwed up because I'm stupid. So let's flip this again. <laughs> who who wouldn't? And we'll go ahead and run up here. You know, I've been thinking about it. My Pokemon bios for wheezing and coughing, and or coughing and Grimer were not very good. They weren't very good this episode. I apologize. I apologize. I like thinking about it while going through this dungeon. Alright, so we can drop off right here, which will lead us to this next little area. Uh, and I believe we can, yeah, we can fight this guy. Who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. All right. He's going to send out an Electrode. Uh, I'm thinking, actually, that Ice Beam, okay. He used Self-Destruct and barely did any damage to us. That's insane. He took, what, 40 damage? Wow. All right, so he's going to use Weezing. Again, Weezing is a physical tank, uh, but not a special tank. So you want to be using stuff that's really gonna, really gonna hurt it. Uh, like really strong special attacks. Luckily, Poseidon with a stab surf is fairly strong, actually. Scientist Ted was taken down, and we got two thousand seven hundred eighty-four Poké Dollars for winning. A key? I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Uh, right here, we can find another item, which is going to be a Carbos. That's going to raise our speed. We're actually like run. Oops, I forgot to put a repel up. And of course, it's a Rattata. Get out of here with that. All right, get out of here. Get out of here with that. No one wants that. Okay. So this is weird. 
This is weird. I, I think I screwed up somewhere along the line here. I did. I screwed up. So we have to leave. We actually it had to make us leave. the, Which is so strange that it has us leave through that random ass door. There we go. And we got coughing. Perfect. Just add him to our Pokedex because why the hell not? Uh, I'm going to be searching for a... It's thin balloon-like body. It's inflated by horribly toxic gas. It reeks when it's nearby. You actually... It's so strange to me that coughing skin is as thin as a balloon. But then has such strong... Uh, oh, I meant to use... Damn it! I'm getting so bad at using repels. Um, it's, it's strange to me that he has such high... Such high... Uh, tanking capabilities, but yet is a balloon. Alright, so we want to use this. Right? I think that'll help. I didn't. I keep hitting the space bar, I apologize. Which we w can use to go up here, and then I think this door is not open yet, so we have to use this to open it. I took the, a very long way through Pokemon Mansion. I apologize. And then we need to use this. Yes, we want to open it. And then we'll drop down. And then, I think what I did wrong before is I went, I need to go... Oh my god. Oh, a wheezing! Oh wow, okay. Uh, bite shouldn't kill it. 5% chance, oh my god. <laughs> Imagine, oh that killed it. Imagine if that wheezing was a shiny. Oh my god. I would cry. I'd probably cry. So we just wanted to head down those stairs before. I can't believe that I that I screwed that up. Um, so we are going to just use a revive real quick. A max revive. Because I can. Who cares? I do what I want. Alright. Cool. So Poseidon's back. Uh, we're going to make sure that we are on... Where's Max Repels? I do have Max Repels, don't I? Do I not have Max Repels? That's weird. And Growlithe! Okay, I accidentally didn't have a thing going, so we're just gonna use Super Repel. There we go. Okay. We want to run all the way around. There's going to be an item right here, which is going to be a full restore, which is always useful. They get pretty expensive, and we're going to need them, actually, pretty darn soon. So right here, we can go ahead and fight this dude. Uh-oh. Where am I now? You're in the Pokemon Mansion, sir. The Pokemon Mansion. Do you know where that is? It's here. Burglar Lewis would like to battle. He's going to send out a Growlithe. We'll be able to, obviously, destroy it with a Surf. See, this is the thing with, like, showing trainer battles, is, like, as I've said throughout this entire series, they're not really that interesting to watch, because I'm just gonna do the same things over and over, because that's what works. You know, I'm thinking that maybe I should have sped through Pokemon Mansion, but... But, maybe not. Ponyta! Is that the first time we've seen a Ponyta? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't remember. Might be. I'm not actually sure. Either way, I mean, that was a lot of experience for defeating him. And we will get 5,984 Poké Dollars for winning that fight. And we can talk to this. September 1st, Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Interesting. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if there's anything there. We're getting towards the end of Pokemon Mansion here. I'm just gonna keep using the Pokemon Finder. Obviously, this is another trainer. This place is ideal for a lab. Look at all this space. Uh, yeah. It's almost like it was a lab. Uh, Scientist Ivan is going to send out a Magnemite. Uh, it's probably just easier to switch to Bruce. I was gonna say we should stay in, but I'm gonna speed up a little bit because I don't want to take too long in here. And I forgot what he, I didn't see what he's got. Hey, Electrode. So he's probably going to try to, I'm going to use High Jump Kick. I was going to say, he's probably going to try to uh, self-destruct, but. Now the good thing is, is Hitmonlee obviously has Limber, so he can't actually be paralyzed by any electric type, which is great. Scientist Ivan went down, 3,264 Poké Dollars. 
All right, so I want to just double check real quick and make sure that we get this because it'll lock that door. That is TM14 Blizzard. Uh, Blizzard is one of the most powerful ice type moves. The problem is, is it's basically like thunder. Okay. I don't want to fight uh, random encounters, but I don't think I have any more repels. Which I can't believe that I don't have uh, max repels. I thought I bought some. Whatever. We're just gonna have to deal with it, I guess. All right, so we'll flo throw this switch. Which will- oh my god! Okay. Which will th- oh, that will save it. Okay. Right here we can grab- I think this is the key that we need. Another wheezing. Let's see if I can actually catch it. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah! We caught a wheezing! Beautiful! Beautiful! That means we have like 80 Pokemon. Very rarely a sudden mutation can result in two small coughing twins becoming conjoined as a wheezing. Uh... Okay, that's a really strange evolution. Okay, and we got the secret key, which means that we now have access to the Cinnabar City, uh, Cinnabar Island, not really city. And right here is another item that we can grab. I think it's an escape rope. Nope, TM22 Solar Beam. TM22 Solar Beam is a super powerful grass type attack where you actually spend one turn charging, next turn sending it out. I actually also uh, mistakenly said the same thing about Focus Punch in one of the previous videos. Focus Punch is not that. It actually makes it so that your Pokemon attacks last in that turn, no matter how fast it is. And if it gets hit beforehand, it flinches, so it loses the turn. Uh, that's that's all that is. All right, so now that we got the secret key, we are going to go ahead and use an escape rope. Oh, wow, it's already on it. We used the escape rope, and unfortunately the Pokemon Mansion was a bit too long, so we're not going to proceed and do the gym yet, but in the next video we will tackle the Cinnabar City Gym in its entirety. So my question for all of you in this video is, are, have you ever used a coughing or a Grimer in your team? I have. Uh, I've used a Weezing. I've never actually used a Grimer. Or a muck, but I will be doing so in Pokemon Sun and Moon when I live stream that, and I'm pretty excited to be using that Pokemon uh, just to see what what it can actually do with those stats. Thank you all very much for watching. I look forward to the next episode when we get to tackle this City Bar, City Bar, Cinnabar uh, Island Gym. Thank you for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender.